Adam? A couple of months was quite hard for the business. So I went to IKEA yesterday to try and finish this project and buy a basket here and it did, didn't have it so instead I got new handles for this I really like those but these knobs are just they're very cute but they're very wobbly and they can't stay like this and it's very annoying if you want to open so I'm going to replace them. As I was trying to filming this, I was interrupted by my sweet baby that you can hear right now. Lily, she's four and a half months old, and this is why. Lily! Shh. So, what I was trying to say is that the project of the closet in the entrance takes us so long because we have. We, we had the newborn when we started, now she's four and a half months old and we didn't finish, well it took us I think a month and a half, maybe two and it's not finished yet because I'm waiting for the basket at Ikea and things take way longer with the newborn giving each teacher it's a gift from all the parents and they're gonna get a nice cup some cinnamon sticks there is a little candle inside let me show you how it looks I have another one here cute little candle and a tea towel and they also gonna get this beautiful handwritten card with a little gift card inside. very hard to do anything really. check 
how much it, it cost in IKEA and I might sell it. Maybe you can sell it for a hundred shekels. So the last, last couple of months was quite hard for the business. When first COVID hit, I was big success. <laughs> Everything went really well and all the people um, in quarantine looked for things to do and they ordered lots of embroidery kits and this is I think this is an example for, <laughs> for how, how much I believed in myself and also for how much I thought people are going to find my business and everything is going to thrive and everything did. And then the second part of COVID hit me and not in a good way. Um, shipping prices went really up um, both for me to import the, the things I'm making the embroidery kits with and also to export to ship to you guys and also everything that's going on all over the world economically um, People do need to buy bread and butter, but they don't need to buy embroidery kits. So, yeah, and also I was pregnant, and also I had a baby. So, I had a very busy year, and also not so busy year, as you could see. These are all um, instructions for uh, embroidery kits. So, I do still have... Um, very nice amount of stock that I'm trying to sell and I'm doing all kinds of sales so you can check that out in my description box you can check out my shop um, but I'm also saying goodbye <laughs> to stuff I don't need anymore I decided to take a break for from embroidery and I'm gonna focus on my kids for this year I have a four and a half months old baby and a three month and, and a three years old and yeah so this is why i'm organizing here and also well it's not a goodbye i'm still going to do videos but i'm kind of saying goodbye to embroidery and it's bittersweet i'm filming abba making a watermelon smoothie do you have any tips and tricks Adam? Okay. 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 There is only one problem. The watermelon wasn't frozen, so it's not very much smoothie. It's just juice. I was 
was just uh, taking these two um, sacks, sacks, two bags uh, outside, and then I got two more orders coming in, so I'm going to do that now. But look, how am I supposed to work here? Still didn't finish the cleaning up, got emotional.